Hey, what's up, everybody? Was gonna do a big vid here and show you everything I got, but uh, I'm gonna just do the smalls in this one. And then the big thing I got is for the Xbox 360, I got a really cool fighter stick that uh, <laughs> I spent a bit on it, man, but uh, it's one of those things until I got it home and out of the box, I didn't realize how nice it was. It's about as good as it gets, man. It's got arcade quality parts. So anyways, let's start out with the beer related stuff here. Or uh, beer and boobs and butt related stuff is uh, this is from the Playboy Club. And I'm pretty sure it's from the 60s as in my dad's got one just like this that he's had for... Well, he got it before I was born. Got it when he, from a buddy when he worked for City Hall in San Jose, so pretty cool. Got this for $2.50. Just need to clean it up a little bit and it's in good shape, man. And it is glass, not ceramic. It's just got this kind of metallic black coating on it. And this next one, I got this today at my indoor swap meet for three dollars and it's like new. It's made in Austria, it's had a little sticker on it that I'm trying to peel off. It doesn't say anything on the bottom but it's for Lowenbrau special and dark special beer. Twice the special, so pretty fucking awesome really good shape here. One freaking liter, man. Germans are crazy people, man. <laughs> I'm glad I got some German blood in me, man. That's where I get my insanity from. Speaking of insanity, as in this thing's badass, got this at a community yard sale, close to my swap meet for two bucks. Similar to another one I have that's not just glass like this, but it's got like a coating, then it's got the picture and stuff, yellow. This one's from Fredericksburg Brewing Company. Big freaking decanter. As in, big freaking decanter. Porcelain, old school style, milk bottle type cap here. which locks really tight, man, so can put whatever in this and we'll keep it nice. And aluminum handle, really freaking nice for two bucks. That's all the beer related stuff I got. And before I show you the few gaming things I picked up, I'm going to show you the cuteness type shit that I got from my two sisters and my nieces. These, anybody out there that's bought these, man, and know that I scored I've got one small one that's three inches long and then the others are six inch. These are 3D laser etched crystals. This one is kind of a pond scene. Froggy's poking his head out to try and get the dragonfly and it's got some lily pads and stuff around them and fishes swimming. Not going to show up real good because I got light overhead so it's going to make it turn white but uh Usually you get a stand with these to shine up below it and all the etched part inside the crystal will light up. And a lot of times you can get multicolor ones and they are really cool looking. There's this one. Like I said, it's going to turn white there. Totally 3D. This one I got for my sister that's into fairies and dragonflies. This one's got a ton of detail. Dragonfly, man, it's got even the wings look like real wings. Same thing with the fairies. Ton of detail. Anyways, there's a pl weird looking plant. One of them standing next to it playing a flute and there's notes coming out of it. There's a couple of little tiny baby dragonflies buzzing around, and I mean they are tiny, but loaded with detail. Then there's another one on top of the plant riding a large dragonfly with a wand, and then she's holding like a rose or something. Just lots of detail. And once again, it's going to light up. Try some here. Let's 
see if I could. That's uh, still going to screw with me. They're really light sensitive, man. <laughs> They're made to have something under it shining up, man. When they light up, they don't just turn all white. It's more you can see just every detail. These are something to where if you want to see some, check out a gift shop somewhere. They usually always have these. It's just a gift shops, they are pricey. And this one I got for my grandniece, and this one's got the most detail. It's just got like little bed of grass with a couple flowers and three butterflies one large one medium one tiny and the wings are just incredible tons of detail there that one you can see the wings good and this one yeah another one with fairies Got one fairy that definitely looks kind of Disney. Very Disney. She's got those big Disney hooters. And then the other one's kneeling, butterflies buzzing around, some plants. Bit of detail. Anyways, man. The big ones, two bucks a piece, which is just crazy in itself, man. The little one, a dollar. And uh, one of these, I think the one with the fairy riding the dragonfly, I got that at the swap meet from a guy that had a bunch of them, two bucks. And then the rest of them, I got at the same yard sale place, as in uh, this community area that was having a community yard sale. So just yard sale after yard sale down each street. And first one I hit, man, guy had a whole bunch of these for the same prices. Always cool when you can find Christmas gifts and birthday gifts that are freaking cheap, man. Those big ones, I've seen them in Laughlin at some of the casinos for like 40 bucks and up. I've seen them around here at some of the gift shops in Old Town for about 40 bucks and up. So, that guy must have gotten a case of them for nothing. Anyways, on to the GameStop. Not that I've gayed out my video. <laughs> I'll show you one game for the 360. and I collect for the Sega Genesis, but I still got this because it's got some games on here that I would be lucky to ever find. And also, it's got some arcade games. And some, like, interviews with some of the people that created the games. Anyways, this is Sonic's... Ultimate Genesis Collection. It's 40 plus titles. I'm thinking it's 40 that are already unlocked that you can play. They're mostly Genesis titles. And then the ones you can unlock are some of the 8-bit uh, Master System games, a few other Genesis titles, and some arcade games. Kind of like, um, I think if you pass the first level of Shinobi 3 without getting killed, you unlock the arcade version of Shinobi. And then it's got the Genesis version of Altered Beast and the arcade version of Altered Beast that you can unlock. It's got Space Harrier. That's one of the main reasons why I got it. It's got the arcade version of Space Harrier. My all-time favorite arcade game. A bunch of other good ones, man. Really good collection. The only thing kind of disappointed me, I love the Genesis for all of its good shooters. There's not that many on here other than like Space Harrier, maybe one or two others, which is disappointing, but it does have some good games. Worth picking up even if you're a collector. I think I paid sixteen nineteen or for it or whatever from GameStop with the uh, Power Up Rewards card pro. Saved a dollar. Big fucking deal. <laughs> and the price is already high, but I've never seen it in my pawn shops. Okay, now onto the retro stuff. I got all these at one of the thrift stores that's really close to me. They are all made by Coleco. And they're all from the late 70s. Maybe one is from the early 80s, like 81 or whatever. Anyways, got Electronic Quarterback. And this is the only one that I had to clean up. 
which I just cleaned up the plastic parts with a magic eraser and it took off all the marks. Otherwise, it's in great shape. And they all work. Just don't have any 9 volt batteries. And this one is head to head hockey. And uh, I'm guessing that uh, one person controls all the main characters to hit the hockey puck, and then another person controls the goalie to move them back and forth to try and stop it. Great shape. And on value, these first two are worth about what I paid, man. I got them both for 10 bucks, and that's about how much they're worth, so. Cool things to have on a shelf with all your retro game collection, man. I like this kind of stuff, always have. This one here, I'd say, is the coolest. This is head-to-head -head electronic baseball, and it's for left or right-handed people. It's the corners here got the same buttons, and then the center here are your main controls. PS, B, and N, I don't know what those are for. Then you got your baseball bat button. And looks like the scoreboard on this lights up blue, as in it's got a blue tint to it, so that's kind of cool. Blue instead of red. And play field looks pretty basic, like you just hit the ball and then they run the bases automatic or something, but pretty cool looking and in great shape. Didn't have to clean this one either. Paid the most for this, got this one for seven bucks. So she kind of gave me a break. As in, uh, I grabbed this one first, took it home, checked it out, went back and got the other two. So anyways, that's all my pickups. Uh, it's getting late here, man, so I'm probably going to do the other video tomorrow. As in, I got to move all this damn stuff. As in, the fighter stick I got for the 360. That sucker's like this freaking wide, man. It's big, and it's got real HAP arcade parts for the buttons and the joystick. It's as good as it gets, as it's built like an arcade controller. So, we'll show that soon enough. And if anybody new is watching this vid, check out my last one, man. I just did a custom top loader and color shift paint. So, if you've never seen a top loader, watch it for that. If you want to see something cool and custom, man, it turned out nice. Shifts from green to purple. Once again, catch you all later.